So from Jim Palmer, we go inside. The manager's in as Verizon Wireless now. Post-game comments, the skipper, Dave Trembley. One pitch in the game that, uh, you know, turned it around, and that's the ball that R Rosales hit. He had him 3-2, fouled off the couple, I think two or three in a row, and uh, then got a fastball up. My, uh, you know, the way Brian pitched in innings three, four, and five is more along his style. He, he used his two-seamer, and the ball was down, and he used his changeup very well. But the first inning, he just didn't seem to find his delivery. Um, balls were up, and his arm angle wasn't where it was after the second inning. So we need to we need to get him back on track and, and get him pitching like he did in innings three, four, and five. Um, you know, Matta got in his major league debut. He hasn't pitched in a while. I think you'll see the next time he pitches a little bit more sink uh, because he's a ground ball pitcher and he'll sink the ball, but he was probably overthrown and the ball was up for him. But, you know, offensively we get three hits. We, we had that one real good opportunity when after Atkins hit the home run and it's 5-1 to one and Nicky's up. But, you know, the guys that are hitting 2, 3, 4, and 5 for us, I don't think we got a hit. Um, so they pitched real well. Go ahead. You don't sound particularly concerned about Mattis at this point, even though three of his last four starts haven't gone well, but you don't feel like it's anything really huge. I think it's point. just I think it's a combination of him pitching in the middle of the plate, the ball up, and um, you know, he's he's not getting his two seamer across. He's throwing a lot of four seamers and you know, he likes to pitch in to right-handed hitters with his four with his four seamer. I think we saw that last year when he came up, especially the first time he pitched against Detroit, when he punched out guys back to back and he pounded them in. He's just not getting his he's not getting his fastball in on hitters, and the two seamers not getting away. After the second inning, he did, and he pitched real good. But, you know, the first inning, that's the difference of the game. Heck, he staked Cahill the four runs in the first, and he's a ground ball machine, and everybody knows how he's pitched. You know, his last three or four starts and what his numbers are, and, you know, it's hard to overcome that. How much did three, four, and five innings allay your concerns about that? Because obviously you've given up some runs in, in first and second, and to be able to think, okay, we know he, he can do this. This isn't, you know, we, we know he can pitch this way. Well, that's the way he, he's capable of pitching, and that's Brian Mattis. You know, you know the last three times he's pitched, you know, there's been some rocky innings to him, for him. Um, we've all got to find a way to get him more in line and be consistent right from the very beginning. It, um, you know, the first inning tonight wasn't him. It just wasn't him, and it cost us. Dave, obviously, it's kind of a, 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 a you know, afterthought in the game, but, you know, was it good to see Atkins finally get off that, you know, get the grill off his back? That yeah, was, that's that's one more thing that everybody can, you know, put to bed now, that he, he hit a home run, and, you know, I'm sure he feels a lot better because of it, but uh, it would have been a lot nicer if we would have won the game. So that's how I kind of look at it. I'm, I would assume he would uh, be of the same mindset. Did he had a warm greeting in the dugout after that, Homer? Oh, yeah, he did. Sure, everybody's been pulling. Well, you know, everybody pulls for one another here. You know, I've heard a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of nice, nice gestures on everybody's part. Everybody's been waiting for him to hit his first American League home run. I mean, that's kind of been the, the thing. Dave, with Weeders at that play at the plate, did he just tweak his shoulder a little bit there? What? Yeah, I think it was kind of like, you know, he got a little stinger there. But um, he said he was fine. They took him back underneath the tunnel, and he swung both sides. He didn't have a problem. He didn't feel anything. Um, you know, Jones made a heck of a throw, and, and Matt has shown the ability to, to hang in there right at the last minute to, to put the tag on. He's not all laying anything, so. I was kind of hoping maybe that turned it around for us, but it didn't. It didn't. They just pitched better, and, you know, they catch everything. They, they're a real good defensive club. That's their thing. That's how they play.